It's Waynette Goodson, your editor of Casual Living, and recently John Emmerich, the publisher, and I got to go on an editor-publisher roadshow, which included an invitation to the storied Summer Classics Garden Party in Birmingham, Alabama. My favorite part was they told a bunch of good stories during the party, and we wanted to let you in on a couple of them. One of the first people I called on was William Sonoma. William Sonoma owns Pottery Barn, West Elm. So I sold this 10 truckload or I was like, I don't really don't want to paint all 10 truckloads of furniture. So I worked a deal with South America to get them to put the first few coats on. I would put the last coat on, work with their paint supplier, spent a week down there working on this, had it all done. It came in all prime perfect. We assembled it, paint, put the last coats on, shipped it, shipped all 10 truckloads to Memphis. We shipped several of our dealers, and one in Atlanta in particular called me, said, hey, I got your furniture, it looks great, and, but uh, it rained this weekend. I went, yeah, so? He went, uh, well, the paint's already starting to peel. So I jumped in my car, ran to Atlanta, and looked at it. So I called William Sonoma, and I would pulled everything back. So that means I had to start over from scratch and do all the finishing in-house because I no longer trusted Chili. And I had nowhere to put this stuff, so I put the 10 truckloads on a container. I took, ran an ad called Summer Classics Opens the Factory to the Public. But when I got to the factory that morning, say 9 o'clock, it was going to open at 10. I couldn't even find a place to park. They were parked all along Highway 52. It was just crazy. And so um, I went, okay, well, this is going to work. <laughs> Sure enough, we did about $50,000 that weekend. I was like, payroll, yay! Early 2000, and we were at the Casual Furniture Show in Chicago. So Bew and I decided, show, had a good show, been there all week, we'd treat ourselves, have a nice dinner at the Pop House. Sitting over in the corner was the president of Tropitone, Erwin Grimmer, who was a, a good friend of ours. At the end of the evening, Bew said, well, we've got to go, because uh, we've got an early flight. And then he said, looked at me and he said, well, how are we getting to the airport? And I said, well, I guess we're going to take a cab. And so at that time, a cab from downtown Chicago, the airport was probably $25, $30. At that time, taxis didn't take credit cards. And so Bew says, how much cash do you have? And I said, I think I got five bucks. And Bew says, I've got three. So we had $8 amongst ourselves to take a cab in the morning at five in the morning to the airport. So Irwin loaned us a hundred bucks. Uh, to take the cab to the airport. And to this day, every time I see Irwin, he always comes up and says, I don't think Bew ever sent me my hundred bucks for the cab ride from 20 years ago. Mr. Grimmer, looks like you may finally get your money back. And Bew White, thank you so much for having us. But do you know what the best part is? It's Friday, people, go on, get your sunglasses, have a fun weekend, and whatever you do, let's just keep it casual.